Hi, I'm Joseph. I'm a stuntman in Singapore. I've been doing stunts and martial arts tricking for the past seven years. How did you first start with your stunt work? So I started when I was watching the olden days Hong Kong action cinema films where Jackie Chan, Sammo Hung and Yen Piao, films of those era. And I really enjoyed those films. So I'm wondering why are not people doing this type of films today? That's when I decided to make a film that has that kind of intensity and action. I went to take Taekwondo as a CCA in Nanyang Polytechnic. And then during Taekwondo, I trained up basic martial art kicks so that I can pull off moves that I've seen in the movies. By joining Taekwondo, I met other friends. And this is how we started to form a group known as JKHH Films, which is rebranded as Stunt Fiction now. And from there, we just made a lot of spontaneous films on the spot. Yeah, we just have fun and make these kind of films. And who knows, it takes me here someday. <laughs> What's the most popular video on that group? I think the most popular video in the group was this video called The Wanted, which is basically a Hong Kong style action fight scene where I pull off a lot of stunts. And it's one of the most popular because it is being shared by Yahoo Singapore as gag. How's the stunt industry in Singapore like? Okay, I think the stunt industry in Singapore is very small. It's even smaller than communities like parkour because there's not many people that teach you how to do these stunts. Most it has to be self-taught. So were you self-taught as well? Yeah, I was self-taught. So basically, remember the group that I was saying? The JKHH, we were just a group of friends that wants to make things happen. We just did videos and uploaded it on YouTube for fun because we enjoyed it. What was the most memorable experience you've had? I think the most memorable experience was doing this high fall from Mediacorp series called Cliff 5. For the first time, I'm able to do it for a film. So to me, it's quite memorable. Are your parents fine with you doing stunts? Okay, my parents definitely did object, you know, typical Asian parents. They even like, not really supportive of me like joining Taekwondo all these kind of things but quite boldy lah so like can't, can't really control me also ma. <laughs> yeah I don't really get injured that often as well really? yeah no no that, that's from Wushu doing stunts uh, I usually had those minor injury like bruises, cuts that kind of thing which are normal I do have major injury, but they are actually not from stunt work. They are actually from a wushu competition that I had two years ago. I was competing in Swang Tao, two swords basically. And then I did a move and landed badly. So I tore my ACL. Yeah. Just as any sports, there is definitely bound to be any risk. But in terms of stunt work, we have to take calculated risk. So feel that you are not comfortable doing certain action, you have to let your stunt coordinator know. How does your typical day look like? Okay, there's not really any typical day in stunts because every day we are doing something different. One day you could be choreographing fight scene, the next day you could be getting hit by a car or stunt doubling for someone. And then usually your call time is also random and the location you also wouldn't know sometime until the day before. So to me, I find that quite exciting because it's going to be something different every day for sure. If let's say we are choreographing fight, Usually it's on the spot also, so the director will tell you what he wants. I'll work together with my stunt coordinator and come up with something to show the director. And then if it's for wire work, then yeah, we'll start to set up pulleys. And there are some days we are just doing wire work, setting up wire work or pulling wire. And then there are some other days where we are henchmen, roles like gangster, rapist, uh, not good roles lah. <laughs> so basically you just like go there, maybe beat someone up or go there get beat up. Yeah, the henchmen, you know. We do have acting sometimes, we do have to say some lines as well. But of course, we are always like the side characters. So recently, I actually did one show, it's called The Bicentennial Experience, which is shot in Fort Canning. So over there, I played Sang Nila Utama. So there's actually a short little fight sequence with a Portuguese, where I acted as a Portuguese soldier. And that job was introduced by my friend, Casimir and Pax. Yeah. How's the pay like? Is it sustainable? In Singapore, most of the stuntmen are not paid very high. So if you are actually starting out, probably have to lower your expectation. This one actually uh, greatly depends on who is hiring you. Because I went to work for Halloween Horror Nights and I was actually paid quite well. Yeah, that was around like Ooh, the kind of thing. Cool. What did you do there? Halloween Horror Night 7, I was in this zone called Zombie Laser Tech. So basically, we act as a zombie. The gas will shoot around. For us, when we get shot, the first stun is a stair roll. So we get hit, we'll do like this. Our reaction, then we just like roll off the stairs. So basically, stair falls are through the whole night. 
And after that, we'll switch to another one where we are doing bungee falls. So we'll sort of jump out, rah, you know, like go in front of the camera, and then we get shot and die. So basically, it's rotating between these two for the whole night, which is pretty tiring. And then for Halloween Horror Night 8, I was doing this stunt in this house called Stranger Things. If you watch the movie Stranger Things, there's this monster called Demi Gorgon or something like this. So they'll come out and roar, and then I'll run forward, and then I'll get pulled back, hitting against the wall. There was once where we set up fire. Is that all? Yeah, I think that's all, yeah. <laughs> what would be an advice you have for them? I would suggest that keep your expectations low first because the stunt industry is not as big. Yeah, maybe take up certain martial arts class and then find a group of friends with like-minded interests so that you can make something together. So actually, I think that if you are trying to go for this route, it's more important that you enjoy the process instead of trying to gain money out of it because in Singapore, it's really not an easy thing to do. The fact that some of the pay are very low also shows that the stunts are actually not being... What's the word? Uh? Can you come up? <laughs> we are not being... You'll be treated like the sides as long as you're not the main character. So be prepared for that also. La. So is there any like uh, misconceptions or stigma related to being a stuntman? There are definitely people that will just stereotype you as, oh, this guy is a daredevil. But actually, there's a lot of prep work that went behind it. So for me, I did a high fall in one of my films. And then I actually went to collect boxes and all. And before that, I went to gym craft. There's this wall where I actually practice a couple of high falls to make sure that I'm able to pull off when I'm up there. You know, looking down at the tiny boxes that I set up. And another stance that I did was a backflip to staircase. So actually, all these are very technical. People will just look at it and like, wow, this guy is crazy, you know. But actually, I had a bunch of rehearsals, making sure that I'm hitting the correct point, my face is not contacting, and all these kind of tiny details. And for stunts, of course, paddings. Yeah, those films where people take falls, they're actually padded. So we actually wear padding. <clears throat> and I'm ready for my stunt. Yeah, you okay by saying loud? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> For me, currently, I have a full-time job. This is like my side thing. I'm not taking up as much stunt job for now. What was the biggest factors that made you choose a full-time job over this stunt? Part of the reason is actually, you know, parents, they will like nag at you. If like some days where you're not getting enough jobs, like maybe one month if you get like 17 or 18 days is considered very good, which happened before. But then, uh, it's unstable and then, you know, I also find myself, if I have a full-time job, but if that job allows me to have my own free time for my type passion project, I'm okay with it. As requested by I will perform for him a martial arts tricking move. Okay, here goes. Watch carefully. Let's go! Woo! Wow! Sick! Okay, uh, because I forgot. We can start a 10-second shout-out now. Uh... Support me by watching our films, Stunt Fiction. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Just check it. Take a lot of um, 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 yellow cards, yeah. It's okay. I always do that. It's okay. 